Well, good morning everybody, and a wonderful bloody morning it is as well. It's a Saturday morning, so we're out and about, Saturdays, lovely, bit of uh, interesting stuff going on today. I'm in the old, um, the petrol station at the minute, so I'm just going to nip in there. And uh, I was debating, like, whether, do I go to McDonald's and get a hot chocolate, or do I come here and get a hot chocolate? And I decided, seeing as it's a, um, it's a Saturday, I'll treat myself to, uh, because the McDonald's hot chocolates are nice, they are good, but the ones, believe it or not, the ones from the Costa machine um, are actually better, in my own opinion, anyway. So, hmm, gonna go and get one of them from the Costa machine. They're, they're, they're more expensive, but they're better. The McDonald's hot chocolates are fine, but it's a Saturday morning, so I'll treat myself. That's the plan. Another Saturday treats. Got myself a monster. We we love a monster, and also and also a flake. <laughs> we got a flake. I'll tell you what else I've got. I've got um another microphone. Look, got a little marker. So one of those capo ones. I like these capo ones. They're nice. They're good mics. I'm gonna stick it on my radio. Um, I've just just collected that. So um. I'm going to stick that on the radio later on today. Don't know what's going on today, really. But uh, anyway, let's go. Tell you what, my car's been acting a bit weird the last couple of days. Sort of, um, so yesterday's when it started it. Normally, like, normally when uh, when you start it up from cold, it'll go to about, I don't know, 12 or 1300, just below the 1500 mark. You can see the 1500 mark, that small little line in between the one and the two. That's 1500 RPM. And normally it would go to about 12 or 1300 for about 30 seconds and then it would drop down to about 800 rpm which is where it is now on a tick over. That's what it would normally do on a cold start, any cold start. But um, yesterday and this morning it started up and it goes straight to 1500 and uh, 1500 rpm on this engine sounds a lot it's it's not but it sounds a lot because it it, it goes oh you know it, it's a loud engine yeah so i, so I um oh, for when it done it yesterday i thought that's a bit weird normally when engines when petrol engines of this of this type when they do that when they tick over high or if they start ticking over high it's normally because there's a sensor that's going out the throttle position sensor could be the map sensor i don't know if this one's got a map sensor i'm not too clued up on these proper modern engines i'd have to have open the body and have a proper look but anyway it's normally a sensor normally the throttle position one in my experience at least it used to be going a bit dicky you know making it tick over a bit high um I'm just going to have to keep my eye on it, to be honest with you. Keep my eye on it. I mean, obviously, it stays at 1500 now for about five minutes. And after about five minutes of driving, the engine's well and truly warm. Um, this morning, it went down to just above 1000, probably about 1100. And, pardon me. And now it's dropped down to about 800 RPM, which is where it should be. But it should do it all, all the time, normally. And it always has done. It's just yesterday and today it done that. So that's something for me to keep an eye on. I ain't worried about it. And uh, I won't be doing anything about it yet. But when it gets to the point where it's uh, always ticking over at 1500, that's when I'm going to have to do something about it. Because I can't be having that. I can't be sitting at bloody traffic lights or something somewhere. And it's going... Because that's what it sounds like. I know it ain't a lot, but it's just it sounds noisy on these engines. Because I don't know, it just does. But anyway, don't worry about that. That's just the nature of life. <laughs> oh man, what a what a day, what a day. What are you lot up to today? I don't know why. I haven't really got too much to say today. Um, I keep getting requests for these type of videos where I'm just sitting here chatting crap. So that's what I'm gonna do. No, 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 I think there's something about weekends. Something about weekends, it's just calming, isn't it? It's relaxed. During the week, you know, it's a bit more pumped up, a bit more go, 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 you know? All the, you know, excitement and everything. From the minute you wake up to the minute you get home, it's just all go, go, pumped up. But on a weekend, 
And I'm not just talking about work life, I'm talking about in general. The weekend is just chilled out and calm, you know? Just relax. It's, it's weird, isn't it? It's weird how, even, the, even though it's just a day, it's just another day, yeah? Nothing changes, really, does it? Only the day, but the world and objects and things don't know that it's another day. They don't know that it's a Saturday or a Sunday. So it's just weird, just the vibe, you know, it's just relaxed and calm. It's an interesting one, very interesting. I don't know if any of you lot can relate to that. Do you ever, right, do you ever have, right, so let me explain this in a way that hopefully some of you will understand. So you go about your daily life as you are, yeah, but then you get, you know, you have these little quirks, your little things, little bits and bobs that makes you, you. But, you know, being me, me being me, I'm a people pleaser, okay? And, um, so, I like to, I, I really, I can adapt. I adapt to just please people. So, you know, sometimes you, I get told, why can't you be more normal? You know, you're weird. Why can't you be more normal? So I'm like, all right, no problem. Look around, see what people do, and I think, well, that must be normal then. You know, that must be normal. And um, and so you do what they do. Some so some people are a little bit into so, so me being me, what, what I am, right? I don't really ponder. I don't really ponder on things, on decisions. Um, if there's something that needs to be done and there's several different choices to make, I normally look at them and I can weigh them up very quickly in my head and I'll make a decision. Boof, that's it, and I go by it. Sometimes I do start acting upon that choice and then it becomes obvious that that was the bad choice, so then I'd stop and take a different choice um, and carry on life. But no, I can normally just make decisions, boof, there and then. I don't really ponder and wonder and start going, oh, is that right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, um, I don't know. Don't do that. That's not me at all. Um, but so, you know, sometimes I get told to be more normal, so other people are a bit indecisive, aren't they? And they stop and they go, oh, I don't know. Do I want that? I don't know if I want that. Do I do that? I don't know, should I do that? You know? So, I started doing that. But then the trouble is, you get people telling you, don't worry about things like that, don't worry, just make a decision. Don't worry about thinking about it, you're thinking too much, just make a decision. And I'm going in my head, well, I don't think too much, I do just make decisions, but I'm taking more time and pretending to not know what I want to try and be more normal then you get them people tell you to not worry and to just make a decision that's so weird isn't it eh? yeah it's weird how life goes now I must point out that I'm not having some sort of crisis or whatever um, it's just I like to please people so you know like I say if someone if if me be me going through life going through a day going through a day and you know just making decisions there and then and the people that I'm with and you know, having trouble keeping up the decisions they're like whoa, whoa stop why have you chose that let's just do that you're, you're rushing you're rushing and I'm like, I'm not rushing it's just obvious you know We've got we need to do this there's no doubt about it we need to do this but there's two or three different choices of how to do this you look at them and you think well those two are shit decisions that seems to be the best decision boof away you go no messing around you just go and do it because if you sit and ponder your time just goes by and you're just wasting time and uh, so yeah that's a weird situation isn't it you know but like I say I'm not it's just it's something that I've ob observed in life and you may be able to relate to it and you may get some satisfaction from relating to it knowing that um, you're not the only one that uh, gets told to be more normal and then when you try to be more like other people then my other people tell you not to be like them. <laughs> They're weird. Bloody hell. 
but yeah it's like life is easy to go through do you know what i mean you just go along you just make decisions there and then and then you just carry on with life i like people like that my father-in-law is like that he's uh i like his style man he just he just makes decisions he just goes along and that's exactly like me and i'm just thinking that's a good old way to be but yeah man it's, uh can you relate to that? Can you relate? What are you like? I just want to know in the comments. It's, it's interesting to know what people like. I love just finding out. So are you one of these people that ponders and wonders and even simple things like what to eat? Do you sit there and you just think for bloody hours? Do I want that? I don't know. Do I want a bolognese? Shall I have a lasagna? Or shall I have a roast dinner? I don't know. Or are you a bit like me? And you think, what should I have for dinner tonight? Well, we've got lasagna, we've got bolognese, and we've got roast dinner. Oh, bolognese, simple as that. I have a bolognese. Job done. Sorted. And then if, if a complication comes up, like somebody comes to join you for dinner, and they don't like bolognese, well, you've got two choices left. Lasagna or roast dinner. And... If they don't like bolognese because they don't like mincemeat, well, the lasagna's out of the question. So it's going to have to be a roast dinner. So sorted. No problem. Just sort that out. But then that other person, another person might be like, well, hold on a minute. I don't want a roast dinner. Well, there's only three choices. So you've got to choose. You don't like mincemeat, and the lasagna and the bolognese both got minced beef in. So it's going to have to be a roast dinner. Simple as that. <laughs> do you know what I mean uh, just what are you like put it in the comments what do you like what are you like are you a ponderer a warrior a wanderer or do you just make straight decisions like that because that's what I'm like straight decision poof job done if it was the bad decision oh right, bad decision never mind carry on with life <laughs> anyway you not. I might catch you later on I don't know yet um, I've got to go and I've got, got to go and do some bits and bobs. I might catch you later on for uh, some the rest of the day, or this might be the end. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I, I really don't know what the rest of the day is going to bring. So I'm going to take the camera with me. But if I've got something interesting to film, I'll film it. If not, then uh, I'll see you in the next video. I've just been and uh, dropped off a load of camera equipment to uh, a subscriber that... Do you mind? Stop making all that racket. And uh, he had a radio in his car and all of that. And uh, so I've come home now and he's on top of the hill. And I said I'd see go home and see what he sounds like. But he didn't want me to film him. So I'm not going to film him, but I'm going to film me talking to him, if that makes any sense. No, no, no. Glenn, 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 Glenn. You want to hear Glenn? <coughs> right, I'll let you go. Have a good day, Bob. Have a really good day. Yeah, I will do, mate. You take it nice and easy. No problem there. Put the busy on it, eh? Uh, oh, dear. Make it, Bob. Come on. Right. Yeah, lovely too. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't know. Crazy. Absolutely yeah. mad. So, uh, yeah, I'm alright, mate, yeah. Morning, guys. Morning! Morning! What a lovely day it is. It is a beautiful day. Very nice day, very nice day. Glenn, what part of the hill are you up, up by the church? Oh, good, thank you. Oh, you went up the 30s then, what have you done? <laughs> I ain't done anything. Oh, we went up the 30s actually. <clears throat> Mate. Oh, no. Righto, I caught a little bit there, don't know if I caught a lot. I'll catch you on the next one, you know, all the best, I've got things to do. Ciao for now.